what we know from malls is they actually learn from Main Street. So if you go to Main Street Manitou or Manitou Avenue, the details of Manitou Avenue are designed for the speed of three miles an hour. The architecture, the sign, the windows, most roads are designed for 30 miles an hour. And that's very uninteresting to walk next to as a pedestrian. But inside the mall, the environment changes every 20 to 50 feet, and you understand that. So once you understand the basics of why people walk further, Manitou's future is dependent on a dynamic walking environment, not just in downtown Manitou, but throughout. And so a walkability audit is our ability to hear other people's observations about what it's like for them to walk. On your way to the coffee shop, you can see a great store window, a nice piece of art, and you go in. That is informal exchange. Uh, if you meet a friend on the sidewalk on the way to the coffee shop, that's informal exchange. It's, it becomes socially rich, and that's a very important ing in ingredient in a walkable environment. Must didn't look like it was going to stop. That's trying to touch on what the goal for today is. You know, it'd be awesome to get some feedback on the sheet, but it's almost more about education and just hearing everyone else, everyone's different perspectives. Uh, about walking along Ruxton. There is no convenience. <laughs> so this, I mean, I could comment on, on Manitou, but for here, there are no sidewalks. There are no crosswalks. Were you able to cross the road at, at a roundabout? There is, you know, so we can, I can, I think we can say it's not convenient. I think that's a fair assessment of all. Oh my gosh, yeah. where are we? Who lives in that brown house up there? Oh my goodness! <laughs> it's not a club. Club. Lucky. Yeah, it's <laughs> Is that Pike's Peak? <laughs> right. No, we're on top of Pike's Peak. Yeah. yeah. So. Are these hardy souls who live up here. Exactly. Trails, sidebar trails, big You would have no idea that they're here. So this is this is two way here, right? So yes. I just want to do a quick. So uh, the travel lane is typically 10, 10 feet. So if we were just gonna. So this is two way. Great if we could bury all the power lines and the, uh, the right it. Yeah, that's part of the issue is the ground is too too hard. Too hard. Yeah, I mean, you look in other parts of the country, they don't have power lines anymore. They don't have stuff like that. Exactly, exactly. And those are eyesores, but what do you do? So it's, it's those, those are the things to think about. A sidewalk is typically by ADA. I mean, it's expensive, but you can underground power line. Maybe replace it with a tree. Yeah, I think making it, yeah, not, not too over improved, maintaining the naturalness of it coming down here. I know, I want to put the blanket on yeah. over, she doesn't want it. <laughs> yeah. I was like, do you have a blanket? <laughs> <laughs> I could use the blanket. All right, so we're going to walk down maybe to uh, where, that, where that yellow car is going. I love that idea. So we'll start with accessible. So we, that, this section did have sidewalk on both sides. We, some of us attempted to walk on the sidewalk on the other side. What was that experience like? Oh, it was too narrow. <laughs> yeah, icy, obviously, but yeah, too much narrow, especially when you have obstructions like the, the telephone pole. I mean, is it even? No. Like, at what point is it even worth having a sidewalk, or would it make sense to maybe push 
everything to one side and just have a yeah, wide sidewalk, sidewalk on one side. And one wide sidewalk yeah. instead of two super narrow. Just like kind of scenario. What you hear is just out of reflection opportunity. We're at the end of the audit. We've taken notes. Come back tonight. What time? 5.30. 5.30 at Town Hall or City Hall? Memorial Hall. Memorial Hall. Memorial Hall. Uh, so come back tonight. 5.30 to 7.30. If you want to continue talking, we can go inside. Yeah, I'm going to have a quiet warm up and we can just have a... If you'd uh, like to come to the church, I'll open the church up and we can talk, continue talking there. What, Stephen, we'll start with your group. What were some of your perceptions at the top and then as you came down the hill? And then obviously ask our group, what's your perceptions of the town's sort of the corridor portion of it? What are some challenges that you see? But maybe start, Stephen, real quick to get your group and some of the observations they made. Yes, sir. It's really difficult to get off the bus. The bus has a delay of delay and blocking the entrance to the Which I think is great because we're often in the traffic that needs to get around it, but sometimes by getting off the bus, you have about this much room before there's like a curve and then a ditch. Yeah. And Don't trip. Yeah. Right. So you're either like kind of hugged against the bus or you can walk down in front of the bus and then around the bus if you need to go up. It's just really hard to get off the bus and then head up the hill, okay. especially if you're in the kind of there. Thank you. Yes, then we... Have they heard, learned something that was new to you that you didn't think of was an issue within a street? Or, I mean, was this beneficial to you? Good. That was our goal. Yeah. <laughs> that, that is all we want to do. So thank you again. We'll see you tonight.